guys, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe for you, and this recipe is my famous chicken alfredo. Now, a lot of people spit that chicken alfredo a lot of ways, and I do too. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm doing my chicken. I got it seasoned real good with a season. Whatever season you like, that's what you season. But season real heavy, real coated. I have uh, cayenne pepper, I have uh, Cajun uh, season, I have paprika, I have garlic powder, I have onion powder, whatever you want to season it real heavy, that's what you do here. And what I'm doing now is just frying it maybe about two minutes on each side so it can be real tender. This is what you want to make to be real tender, so put it in this oil like this. This is a good oil. Cooking this all like this will make it more easy to cook real tender. Now I'm not going to cook all of this. We're going to use this for another recipe. So I'm going to put this over to the side. What I'm doing is just cooking that real good inside. And this is how it looks. This is some of it right here. I got it on a paper towel so it can drain. This is how it's going to look. So what I'm going to do is place this on this. I'm going to place this with this. So we'll make sure that it's really cooked. So you want chicken to always be cooked real good. So this has been in for a while, so it's now time to take it out. I love experiment with different dishes and doing different things because that's what food is all about. It's about a recipe, something that you like doing, and it tastes good to share it with others. That's what I usually do. Now this is about ready soft, tender. You want it soft and tender. And look how flavorful. You want it kind of flavorful like that. Look how the uh, spices and stuff is rendered all the way through the chicken. You want that in your chicken. So that's why I said kind of season, kind of heavy. But don't make it salty. Don't ever make your chicken salty. I don't like salt in a lot of things, but people over tend to use certain seasons and it has salt already in it. Like garlic salt and garlic salt and onion salt. That's salt in there. So you don't use too much salt with that. So it has a tendency to make your recipe too salty. Okay, we're going to place this over here. Because this is done. Okay, what we're going to do is place this over here. Get it out the way. So what I'm going to do is pour some of this all off. Just leave a little, and then I'm going to put uh, uh, tomatoes, onions, and celery inside this. I'm going to saute this just like this, even though that's a little dark there, but that helps it. Saute this real good, cut it up a little, and then we're going to let this get soft. I love Alfredo, but they got so many different kinds. You buy the one with the cheese, it's going to be extra cheesy. Because they have one with four cheese. Now, if you like the four cheese, it's fine. But I like the classic. I always get the ragu classic. I always get the classic. The ones the classic, I always get that one because it works better for me. I don't know why, but it does. But those cheeses, you know, have a tendency with a different taste. And I don't like a different taste and different things. But if you like it, you get that. That's what you get. If you like that, you buy that. But I just like the classic. Okay, we got the tomatoes, we got the onions, we got the celery to give it a little healthy crunch. Now what we're gonna do is add some parsley flakes in here. Little parsley flakes don't never hurt anything. We're gonna add a little garlic. I like buying this garlic, this minced garlic. I don't know why, but it seems like I get a value, a better value with garlic like that. Because when you cut garlic up and chop it, you have garlic hands, and it smells so garlicky. You try to bathe that off, and it don't bathe off quick. And then your friend or your husband will say, or your boyfriend or you say, "Hey, do you smell like garlic?" Did you eat what I cooked? Yeah, well, it smelled like garlic. That's what I used in the recipe. So 
sometimes you don't have to go through all that terror. Just use garlic that's already minced in these little And most times you find for a dollar in a dollar or out. And I buy two or three because I use them so much. So it's just minced garlic and I just use it and I just like it. Okay, now we got the garlic in here. We got the onions and we got the celery. Now we didn't put bell peppers in here today. We're going to use that on another dish. Okay, right here now, we got that sizzling it up. What I'm going to do is put some measuring in it. Measuring leaves goes into this dish. Now, at this point, you can put any spices or any herbs you want in your dish. Because it's up to you what you want to put in there. Okay, so what we're doing now is just sauteing this. And I like mine's crunchy because there's more vitamins in it, you know, crunchy. This semi-crunchy is good. Yeah, semi-crunchy is good. So a lot of people say, well, you're going to cook stuff to death, you know, but no. Give it semi-crunchy would be really, really good for this dish. Make sure your onions are a little bit done and your Sarah a little crunchy in your tomato. Okay, what I do now, what I do now is add a little of the ragu Alfredo sauce. Just a little Mix it together like this. Just like that. Mmm, that smells so good. Add a little bit more. You see that cheese? All those three cheeses is not true. A I think. Get this all salted up like this. Okay. We'll come back up to a bowl. We're going to taste it. See what it tastes like. It tastes like a Fredo sauce to me, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let that come to a ball so the Alfredo sauce get kind of uh, cooked in. A little bit more won't hurt anything. I feel like a lot of Fredo sauce. Okay, we got all our spices. Look at those spices in there. You see all the herbs and everything in there. Look at that. that looks so good. And a hint of tomato in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, mm, it tastes good. So, what we're gonna do now is get our sauce, get our chicken that's cooked, and we're gonna pour it in like this our chicken and get it all incorporated. One little chicken try to run off. I'm going to get all that cup ready, just like that, just a little, just a little dish, just like that, not to cover it up, just a little. I'm going to get the spaghetti, now we can put parsley flakes on the spaghetti if you want, just like that, and I'm going to get this like this, chicken already done, everything's already cooked. So we're just going to plate it up like this. Don't cover up all the pretty chicken. Just let it be shown a little of the chicken. And, oops, one going to fall. And there you go. Now you get the sauce like that. And then you get some, let this cook too fast. Then you're going to get some Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese. And you drizzle it all over like that. And there you go. This is my version of Alfredo Chicken Alfredo. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. And I hope you try this simple recipe because this recipe is so simple. I'm telling you, you will love this recipe. So this is Sandra. I want to say happy eating. And thank you for coming to my channel.